Hey everybody, it's me again with another Doug's Lab video. Today I'll be demonstrating how to purify potassium nitrate through recrystallization. Recrystallization is a very easy concept to understand. Basically it means that when you make, you make a saturated solution of the, the material you want to purify and then you cool down that saturated solution to reduce the solubility of the thing you want to purify and it then falls out of the solution as in the form of crystals. Now because crystals form a lattice of the same type of molecule they're very exclusive to impurities and therefore the crystals end up being of much higher purity than the solution. So what I've prepared today is uh, 200 milliliters of boiling water and we're going to pur purify potassium nitrate found uh, as stump remover in most hardware stores um, using the recrystallization method. Now over here on my laptop I have gone ahead and uh, looked up some solubility data for potassium nitrate and if you look uh, at 100 degrees Celsius, it'll, uh, one liter of solution can contain 2.4 kilograms of potassium nitrate, but at zero Celsius, it can only contain 133 grams. Therefore, uh, if you look, it has a very, very distinct solubility curve. Oops, oh, let's go down here. Okay, here's the solubility curve for potassium nitrate. And as you can see, this is only from zero Celsius to 100 Celsius, and this goes all the way up to 2.4 from 2.4 kilograms to 0.1 kilograms. So as you can see, the, the curve is correct, but um, basically what we're going to do is heat the water all the way up to here so we can dissolve this much potassium nitrate in it. Then once that's dissolved, we're going to cool the water down so all of this potassium nitrate falls out of the solution once we reach this temperature, which can be done easily with boiling water in a freezer. So this video would, will take several uh, parts to film, obviously, because I can't make, I can't show it real time, but right now I have about uh, a little less than 200 milliliters of uh, water boiling and just off the top of my head, okay, 2.4 kilograms per liter is uh, the solubility. Well, actually, yeah, that's liter of solution, so it's more difficult. I should be able to fit, uh, this is 453 grams, I should be able to fit all of it in here. So, yeah, also uh, one thing I noticed, which is kind of funny, the uh, department at uh, the company that makes this, which I'm not going to give away, uh, just so I don't ruin it for everybody else, but uh, they marked this jug in fluid ounces. <laughs> even though it's a, uh, it's a powdered solid. <laughs> so, yeah, it shows how much they know about chemistry, right? Well, anyway, here's how it comes. It's just a, uh, a white powder. And there we go. There's actually a little bit more in here, but I should be able to get it all into this beaker. Okay. Well, without further ado, let's uh, let me zoom in and we'll start dissolving it. That's all of that beaker. Now, as you can see, um, it'll reduce the temperature of the water quite a bit when I dump this in, so um, it's going to take a while to heat back up to fully dissolve. But I'll get back as soon as, well, here, I'll dump, this is the rest of the uh, container of potassium nitrate right here. That's it. And anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll get back when I've added this and everything is dissolved. So. Until then. All right, everybody. All the potassium nitrate has been dissolved. This whole container, all 453 grams of the potassium nitrate, is now in this solution right here. And the heat has been turned off. As you can see, there's a little bit of turbidity because uh, uh, there were some impurities in it and there's little rocks and stuff in the bottom. So I'm just going to decant it off into this smaller beaker down here uh, where we should be able to see some immediate recrystallization uh, as well as... Um, I'll leave it in there for the rest or for the remainder of the experiment. As you can see, just from it cooling off on here, it's becoming quite recrystallized. So here we go. This towel so I can pour it. Okay, here we go. Try not to get all the gunk in the bottom best as possible. Look at see it's, it's crystallizing right in front of look see as it just cooled off it's totally falling out of solution. That's really cool. Yeah the speaker is still pretty hot but um, yeah you can clearly see that that's perfectly dry now. See? I can touch it. Well there's a little bit on my finger now but it's 
yeah, it's very, very fine crystals of potassium nitrate. And as you can see, oh, look at the crystals just falling right out. Well, here we are. Um, not even halfway through with the uh, recrystallization process. And as you can see, it's uh, Christmas time in the beaker. <laughs> it's a little just snow kind of continuously falling down and accumulating at the bottom. And eventually that will fill up with uh, potassium nitrate crystals. Um, I've prepared my filtration apparatus right here. So it's just a huge pickle jar uh, and a coffee filter with a rubber band. And uh, yeah, as soon as all, the, all these crystals uh, fall out of solution, and I, I'll put this in the fridge to maximize the amount that falls out, uh, then I'm going to pour it in there and we'll get all our potassium nitrate back as a powder, or as a wet powder, and we can dry it out, re-grind it up, and uh, store it in this convenient container. So, back in a few. Alright, here we are. Uh, the beaker is now just above room temperature, maybe 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and as you can see, quite a bit of uh, recrystallization has taken place. Uh, there's a crust on top, and of course, the bottom is nearly full. Now the problem is, uh, I can filter this out, but of course it's going to fill up my filter entirely. So what I'm going to have to do is, uh, I'm just going to decant off the top and pour the wad of crystals um, onto this glass plate over here, uh, and where they can dry overnight. And then I'm going to take the liquid that I decant off and put it into this beaker here, where I can leave it in the refrigerator overnight to uh, dump as many or, uh, as many crystals out as possible. So just break all this stuff up in the bottom. That's nice. Okay. And now for the decantation. Let's see that okay? Well, it may work like this. Alright. Oops. As long as I get the majority of crystals, I'll be fine. This is already a saturated solution, so it's going to continue to uh, drop crystals all night. But I have to go to work, so I don't have time to sit and wait around for this. Like I said, it's lukewarm right now, but... Alright, and there we have some nice wet crystals of potassium nitrate. Let's see if I can decant it even further. As you can see, I'm definitely getting more out. These crystals are nice too. The ones on top look really, really long. They're really long and needle-like, very fine crystals. It's perfect. It's exactly what I'm looking for. longer. Maybe I can break this up a bit. Oh crap. Well, these are going back in the uh, excess reagent jar. These crystals are very, they're hard and just like really fine needles. I don't know if you can see that, but neat. Okay, and now I'm going to put them on this glass plate so they can dry overnight. Oh, no, that's my phone. Yeah, let's shut up. Okay. Chemistry is more important than my phone. Yeah, as you can see, the crystals are like needles. See the, if I spread them out a little bit more. Maybe I'll put them on something black later. Break this up a little more. Well, anyway, you get the idea. So, uh, I'll let those dry overnight, and then I can put them in my uh, my reagent jar. So, yeah, that was recrystallization of potassium nitrate. Uh, basically, when I take it out of the fridge, I'm going to do the same thing with the other beaker, so there's not really much to watch there. So, I think I'm just going to end it here. But, yeah, um, subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, thanks for watching.